Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a fun split tone effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it kind of just ends up looking like this. Uh, let me just throw this up this full screen. So you see you have, yeah, you have this like sort of strong split tone where it goes that blue to orange, the top, you know, really, really stylistic. Not something that you just throw on every shot you see, but something that you can really throw some style in. And of course it's fully adjustable, so you know, if you want to make it really, really subtle, you can just adjust a little number right here and then it's sort of just very, very light. You can see that it's just like a tiny little effect, but it kind of makes it look sort of neat. It adds some contrast and some fun color to it. So let's get started on this. Basically, all you gotta do is just create yourself an adjustment layer. So go down here, click the little new button, and then go up to adjustment layer. So let me just delete this old one and let's start from scratch here. Let's click that adjustment layer. It's gonna ask you, it's gonna always choose a sequence settings. Just click on through there drop that adjustment layer on and then you know expand it as many clips as you want it to be expanded through and then what you're going to want to do is go over to effects and then find under generate which is under video effects something called the ramp effect so we're going to drop that down here and you see that it looks like this right now and that's because this down here is sort of like the opacity but it's the reverse of it it's how much it's blending with the normal so we can go with like something like 90 percent and you see that it mostly disappears and it also kind of creates this black and white makes sort of a neat effect to it but what we want to do is we can do basically anything actually if you want to stick with the black and white that's cool add sort of more contrast to the top and a little less contrast to the bottom however maybe we want to go with something like i'm not i'm just thinking of um was it csi miami where it had that like strong orange tint at the top so you could kind of do that where you go with this orange maybe we make it a little bit darker orange up here and then right here so this is the start of your ramp which is going to be at the top and this is the end of the ramp which is at the bottom and you can adjust the starting and ending points so if we bring this one closer to the top you can see that if you look really closely let me make this a little bit stronger here so we can see you can see that you're adjusting where the ramp goes like this so what I can do is kind of bring it up to here so it's only affecting the very top portion and then re-enter something like 95 percent here maybe drop this down, let's make this more of an extreme effect, put 80% there, and we have this really neat sort of effect. And maybe if I wanted the bottom to be more towards the, the black side, it'll just kind of add some contrast down there. And like I said, you get this neat sort of um, thing going. You can also do a radial ramp where it sort of starts from the middle and it goes outward. So if we go back to the thing right here, you can kind of see what it's doing. And that kind of creates a neat little effect as well. We go back, it kind of creates this, this ball of color, but I like the linear ramp for this situation. And then let's kind of go to maybe 85%. And we can also do this offset color. So if we pick any other color, I think it always looks better with a second color. Like this kind of purple on the bottom. So it kind of creates this, like it almost looks like an Instagram filter or something like that. It, it creates this neat little contrast in here. And like I said, you can make this go up to 95 and then it's just sort of this subtle and you're kind of making the pink down here, accent the pink right here. Then we get into the next one. Uh, it isn't very noticeable, so we can of course click the animation button if we do want to animate it throughout our scenes. But you know, just kind of find one that kind of works with yours, maybe 87%. Yeah, it kind of gives a nice little style to it. I could see maybe like a travel video having this or maybe even like um, a music video or something like that. It would look pretty neat on that. But that I just kind of wanted to show you is this really quick way to sort of add this two-tone color contrast onto your footage. And now let me just show you one last thing is we don't have to sort of give this effect up and down. If we wanted to, we can move this over. So this is the X and this is the Y. So we can move the X over and then move this the opposite direction. And then let's sort of back this off a little or maybe make it up a little more. And now we kind of have this color going across. And I really actually like that color combination. I think it looks really neat. And now if we bring this back in, maybe like 80, we can get this sort of neat two-tone effect splitting down the center. Maybe we could even make it like really strong. We could go like, like 60. And now you kind of got this, now I feel like this could definitely be a music video shot, something like this, and same with this sort of feel to it. And you know, maybe you could throw a contrast on top of this to sort of blend it in a little bit more. So like add some sort of um, adjustment layer on top of the adjustment layer to sort of contrast it back out so it doesn't make it look flat. But overall, I just wanted to show you this ramp effect right here. I think it's a really fun effect. And if you're looking for that sort of style, I think it's fun to throw in there. Thanks everyone for joining me for this quick tutorial on a nice little fun effect. If you got any questions or comments, those in the comment section below. If you got any suggestions for future tutorials, throw those in the comment section below as well. I like to make videos off of that. If you want to see more videos similar to this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make videos every other day. So yeah, it's just all Adobe related content, tutorials to you know make you better. So yeah, until next time guys, see ya.